Hi guys, it is an absolutely miserable, nasty, cold, rainy Sunday here in the formerly drought-plagued uh, wasteland of Austin, Texas. We're getting water in the creek here as we, just the water rises in the end times here in the formerly drought-plagued wasteland of South Austin, Texas. We have made it to Sunday March 2nd. March finally blowing in like a lion. Uh, this is a picture uh, not of South Austin, Texas. This is what it looks like in Ukraine today. Good Lord, what's going on in Ukraine? But I need to be thinking about my doomsday sermon. But before I get into that, let's just dive into the end times headlines to see how this planet is unrolling into the end times on this dreary Sunday. And we're going to start on the left side of the dial. I'm surprised Alternet sent me their headlines today. Anyway, let's start off here at good old McDonald's. McDomination, how corporations conquered America and ruined our health. There you go. The corporate class now holds a staggering level of power in Washington, and we have all paid the price. Yep, and from there, oh yes, the Oscars. I am proud to say I do not know one movie nominated for the Oscars. I could not name you one Oscar nomination from movies to actors to actresses. Uh, I have no clue. Okay. Anywhere. How about are your Mardi Gras beads killing you? Those shiny carnival trinkets are loaded with dangerous levels of lead and other toxic materials. I'm within about three feet of some Mardi Gras beads. Okay, next. You call this a middle class? I'm trying not to lose my house. There you go. From there, more of this Oscar crap. Okay, here is the perils of dating after 55. All right, well, I'm 54. I have not been on a date in four years. The perils of dating after 55. The biggest peril is that your date is also uh, over 55. Anyway, what do they have to say about the Ukraine on the left side of the dial before we jump in, of course, they're just using the French news service right here. Putin moves to send troops into Ukraine. All right, so it sounds like uh, they just use the, the French news service off of the mainstream media on their... And so why I'm mean, not surprised, good Lord, guys, you don't have to look far for the end times today. The top four stories this Sunday morning are on the Ukraine. As we find their number one story, hundreds of gunmen surround Ukraine military base. Hundreds of armed men in trucks and armored vehicles surrounded a Ukrainian military base Sunday. I'm assuming they're from Russia. Here is uh, our esteemed uh, Department of uh, State Department, whatever you call this idiot, John Kerry, condemning Russia's incredible act of aggression and there and then we have our commander and chief okay he's got he is on the phone 
His shirt sleeves are rolled up, hands on the hip, phone in hand, looking presidential, looking presidential for the in the Oval Office, having a Kodak moment. Anyway, then Sarah Palin, she is weighing in. Don't we all need to know? Sarah Palin saying, Nanny, nanny, boo, boo. I told you so on Ukraine. All right, so from there, I'm going to have to do a whole, uh, probably tongue-in-cheek, ironic rant. This is an Agenda 21 alert. Ancient beasts roam Spain's wilderness. There you go. Uh, anyway, I'll come back with a rant on this at some point. In an oak wood spanning the border of Spain and Portugal, an ancient sight unfolds. Wild horses roaming free as they did centuries ago. Farming has declined in Spain, leaving the countryside deserted. There you go, and as humans move out, the animals move back in. Isn't that amazing? As humans move in, the every other species moves out. As humans move out, every other species that is not extinct moves back in. Anywho, I hope that is a good view into the end times. The, the, this next uh, this next story from the Christian Science Monitor is also worthy of its own rant. I will be uh, talking about this story more tomorrow in my economic meltdown rant. The Great China Takeover of Africa is greatly exaggerated. So what they're talking about here, guys, once you get into this horse shit headline, what the, the great takeover of China, if you read this story, as I will, it is not exaggerated. What is being under-reported is the China takeover from every other country on this planet. Do you, do you see the subtle difference uh, in here that China is far and away as they crossed, as they're getting around $200 billion a year, China is only the king of the countries invading Africa. But uh, as this story says, every other country on this planet is invading Africa. So it is it is not a China takeover of Africa. It is a planetary takeover of Africa where China is just the biggest player. But I'm going to have a little more to say about that in my rant tomorrow. I am going to do one story on the rain in California, the single biggest, well, we have the Ukraine and the fact that it is raining in California. So we're going to read one from Associated Press this morning and then not mention it again. <coughs> California soaked, but little drought help. A storm that brought some of the highest rainfall totals to California was just the beginning of what it needs to pull out of a major drought. With all of these stories on the rain in California, it is, it is a drop in the bucket and maybe we will have a marijuana crop coming out of California Jesus, let's hope so, but we don't need to mention it again now. And uh, being Sunday, 
there's more stories than ever that I have already been over. Uh, from here on out, it's pretty much stories I've already been over. Here's a, here's an underst <laughs> an understatement uh, of the headlines here. Rural West Virginians understand bad water. The chemical spill in January that contaminated drinking water for 300,000 West Virginians in Charleston, in the city of Charleston, has brought national attention to West Virginia, but over there where all of these planet eaters, mainly these coal miners, this poisoned water supply from the coal industry is nothing new to rural West Virginia. They have been dealing with this shit for decades. Yep. Okay. All right. We did not think we would see it. As long as we're on uh, chemical catastrophes in the Appalachian Mountains, we see North Carolina sites Duke Energy in coal ash spill. All right. State regulators in North Carolina said Duke Energy Corporation violated environmental laws and could face quotidian fines. Quotidian fines after a massive spill of toxic coal ash this month. All right, so it took, what, about one month for North Carolina regulators to find the, one of the single biggest uh, industries in their state. I think the governor of North Carolina, if I remember correctly, worked for Duke Energy for about 30 years. Anyway, from North Carolina, what is going on today? In the oh, this is the Democratic, the Democratic Republic of the Congo. This is not the Central African Republic. This is another republic. We find UN gunships strike Ugandan rebels in the Congo. There you go. Uh, so we, we have Ugandan rebel, rebels invading Congo and now UN gunships to the rescue. There you go. That's what's going on over in the Congo today. All right, from there, let's just go a little bit to the west, to Nigeria. Gee, what is going on over there in Nigeria today? We see the AP headline, blasts, plural, plural, blasts, rock, north Nigerian city, many feared dead. Two bombs exploded at a crowded marketplace in the northeastern Nigerian city of Maiduguri last night in many are feared, killed and wounded. Gee, have we ever seen this headline? Bombs going off in sub-Saharan Africa. Huh. Never heard that one before. Okay, we have some good news for whales in the end times from Associated Press. Colored lobster rope could be safer for whales. Preventing endangered right whales from becoming entangled in lobster gear could be as simple as changing the color of the rope. 
I guess they're talking about maybe making the ropes fluorescent orange. Why don't we prevent uh, whales from becoming entangled in ropes by outlawing ropes? But no, we can't have that. We can't have those pesky little endangered whales getting, uh, getting in the way of the lobster industry. So let's just paint those ropes fluorescent orange, you dumbass whale. All right, from uh, the oceans. All right, what is going on? I guess there's two stories on the mainstream media today. Here in Washington State, crack found in dam in Washington State. A 65-foot-long crack has appeared in some dam in Washington State. But go back to sleep. There is no danger to the public. So the authorities, if you live downstream from this dam with a 65-foot crack in it, go back to sleep. The authorities in the mainstream media saying nothing to worry about. Okay. Uh, after, anyway, I'm not even going to go there. Some movie called After Earth that I have never heard of, and I will keep it that way. Anyway, here's the other story about the 65-foot uh, crack in the dam. All right. All of this still... Uh, it's either stories I did yesterday or stories that it's raining in California. Okay, from Good Morning America. The four-letter word that can ruin your credit. I think that would be I want. W-A-N-T is the four-letter word that can ruin your credit. I'm not sure what Good Morning America. Anyway, the average American owes about $225,000 in debt today. The average American, don't, if you don't think this is a story about the end times, I'm assuming most of that is with their mortgages. I don't know. I, uh, the former real estate investor, have my little tale. I owe zero debt. But of course, I am not an average American. Uh, I don't know. I think I owed with my three mortgage or what I probably owed about a half million dollars in debt in 2008. I am now 100% free of credit card debt and mortgage debt. Uh, now, I do owe $8,000 to the Internal Revenue Service, or so they say, but of course I have been put on their non-collectible list at the IRS. There you go, because I tore up my credit cards and sold any house I had with an interest-bearing account feeding the banksters behind it all. Anyway, uh, moving along uh, from credit card debt. All right, and all of these. Okay, it is complete and official. The failure is complete. One time Bitcoin King is bankrupt. The world's largest Bitcoin exchange has filed for bankruptcy on Friday. There you go. That's a big surprise headline uh, for the end times. 
Yep, Bitcoin. What a goddamn joke. Jesus. All right. Uh, that might be about all that I have not already talked about here. Let me run through every one of these stories. Uh, well, there's a lot of stories on the uh, on the Oscars tonight, which I am going to remain blissfully ignorant as the entire planet gearing up for the Oscars. All right. Uh, is that about? Oh, here we go. Let's see what's going on in Mexico. Scientist battle to save Mexican salamander from extinction. Mexico's unique salamander, the oxalotl, could be extinct in five year, in five to ten years, according to scientists. The salamander, a, a revered symbol of central Mexico, the salamander is the victim of pollution and introduced fish species, exotic species, invasive species and pollution taken out another salamander from extinct salamanders to a we wish with this to a billionaire salamander who is not extinct Warren Buffett says more bad news on pension funds during next decade here we go Berkshire Hathaway Chief Executive Warren Buffett warned on Saturday that the growing crisis in public pensions will intensify with a lot of bad news to come. Yep, any one of you people heading into retirement in the end times thinking your goddamn pension is going to save you, you better listen to that billionaire that billionaire philanthropist. Uh, there you go. So much for your pension. Let's see what is going on out there in North Korea. North Korea. North Korea's missile launch violated UN resolutions. Do you think so? Yep, they did, and will continue to violate UN uh, laws. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see what is going on right here in Washington, D.C. Today, according to Reuters News. For anybody who does not understand this, peek into the end time, to see U.S. wealth gap look no further than Washington, D.C. President Barack Obama is making income inequality an issue in midterm elections and proof of the growing gap between rich and poor is easy to find because it is close and close at hand right outside the White House. Uh, Jared Diamond in Collapse talking about if you want to see one of these signs of growing threats of collapse, look for rising income inequality. And you need to find that, go about a block outside of the White House if you want to see a collapse unfolding on this planet in the end times. Okay, uh, that might be a good a place as any. Here is a uh, another story on those bombs in Nigeria. 
Let's see, that might be everything here. Here is ultra-Orthodox Jews staging mass protest. All right, let's look over there. Let's close this up. Matter of fact, we'll just close this peek into the end times. Uh, well, we have a choice. Do we want to go to Washington, D.C. or Nigeria for a... There we go. This will be uh, the closing shot. Another gas-sucking car being bombed in Nigeria. You go, you gas-sucking car bombers. We got one more gas-sucking car off the road in this market uh, in Nigeria. But anyway, guys, I have all sorts of uh, Bibles of the Apocalypse on this rainy, dreary day. I might just sit here and rant all day. But for our peek into the end times headlines for Sunday, March 2nd, 2014. Bye, guys.